Hi, Toy here from ProStock Tips. Now, Peridon Gold has recently made a spectacular discovery of visible gold mineralization. Take a look at these drill cores. Now, these are just hand drills from the surface, um, but however, this 50 centimeter drill core, um, you can see visible gold mineralization throughout the 50 centimeters. Um, you can see gold mineralization on this side. You got that 13 or so centimeter um, chunk of gold, visible gold. Um, and down the other end, you've also got some visible gold. Uh, and then on the second core, the 25 centimeter core, um, you also have some visible gold mineralization. Now, uh, obviously the grade on this, when it does go to assay, is going to come through at um, many ounces per ton. Uh, you're actually gonna see um, results probably in the tens of thousands of grams per ton over that core. Now, the question is, however, um, is this an isolated uh, envelope, like a small pocket of gold, um, or is it part of a larger gold system? Um, that is the million dollar question here. Um, and essentially, I still think it's a good trading opportunity because even if it was an isolated pocket, of turns out to be an isolated pocket of gold, um, you're still gonna have these uh, you know, 10,000 grams per ton, you know, off the chart assays um, on this visible gold and the, the stock market's gonna respond, I think. And you're gonna see, you know, like um, you could see some crazy returns between now and the assay or on the release of the assay, it could potentially, you know, shoot up over 100% or something on such a phenomenal assay. Um, now, however, uh, it is hard to predict what the share is going to do in the in the short term because we do know that over the past couple of weeks, even or past couple of months, I should say, even some of the best, um, strongest performing stocks, they're heading into great earnings um, reporting um, in August, uh, have taken a beating and didn't matter how qual high quality the stock was, a lot of stocks got hammered, especially in the lithium sector, especially in the gold sector. We saw over the past few months some huge declines. So if there is some um, adverse market conditions um, in the next few weeks, you could certainly see PGD trend down. Um, if that is the case, um, you know, you certainly probably want to be buying at the, uh, at the low prices, perhaps this uh, baseline. Um, to get a bargain before the assay comes out. So trade the assay. So once it, you know, if it's four doubles to seven or um, up near 10, that sort of thing, um, you know, you want to trade those levels. Uh, however, you know, it could even stabilize or rally between now and then, because obviously a lot of people are going to be thinking the exact same thing that I am, you know, they want to get into this stock before these assays come out. Now, the timing for gold assays is also very unpredictable at the moment. Um, many companies, uh, obviously you've seen me cover ERM, Emerson Resources, still waiting on their assays. So, you know, obviously labs are backlogged here. Um, however, you know, we did see in the past um, pretty quick turns around on, you know, rush assays. This is just like, you know, a single core, it's two cores. Um, you know, less than a meter long each. So, you know, they should be able to rush this through the lab pretty quick, right? But, um, you know, you've got to keep in mind previous market uh, examples. So we had Odyssey uh, with their huge visible gold hit um, in the past and the share price did, uh, it was maintained um, up until, well, at least their initial reporting of the assays. They did have issues with the calibration, their photonic assay. Um, and obviously we had Siren Gold, which also, uh, you know, had its high grade visible gold intercept. Um, uh, and obviously the share price was supported. And when it did come out, there was that bounce. I traded it, a lot of people traded it. It was a pretty obvious trade. Now with, with this company, PGD, it's coming from a very low valuation, you know, 20, $30 million market capitalization. Um, you know, so there are the chance there for a large return. Potentially, PGD could be the next to gray. Um, you know, if this is part of a larger system, if this gold, high grade gold um, that we're seeing here, we've got spectacular grades. This is 
absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, it's like they've drilled for a, a gold seam. You can see the gold at the surface. Let's say it is part of a larger structure and along say, most likely the quartz, quartz vein that they found. Um, you know, that's probably where the, the, the gold's associated with and potentially this high grade mineralization um, goes along strike uh, for, you know, a couple of hundred meters um, and is high grade. You could be looking at a multi-million dollar, multi-million dollar, multi-million ounce high grade gold um, open pit, you know, phenomenal economics. Um, you know, this stock could have the gray sort of potential. Now we don't really know that at this stage, so subscribe to my channel, um, you know, for, for those updates, I'll keep you posted on whether this is looking like it's gonna be a larger system or if this is just a small pocket of mineralization where historically, historically, you know, in the artisanal mining day, they would sink a shaft here um, or a pit and just dig this, extract this gold um, at the surface um, without it trending along for several hundred meters. However, my initial thoughts here um, are that they had this previous uh, rock chip, a very similar mineralization, which was discovered 200 meters to the south, uh, I think the direction was. So that's close proximity um, and perhaps shows that this uh, high grade gold mineralization um, is attributable to this, this uh, geological setting. Um, you know, it could be associated with that quartz vein or there could be several deposits in this particular area. Um, so that's very supportive of it being part of a much larger system. And if I had to take a bet, I would say that it is going to be a part of a larger system where we are gonna see gold um, along that quartz vein, um, as we've seen here at the surface with this visible gold. Um, as for the, the deposit running along the creek, well, that doesn't really make any geological sense. Um, so I'm not too sure about that. It could just be, it's possible though, that the deposit that there are, um, you know, deposit is forming along this same orientation as the creek, coincidentally, and obviously the creek uh, eroding the surface material um, can create alluvial sort of um, deposit um, traces of gold, so gold in soil and, uh, you know, gold nuggets, that sort of thing. So potentially it is hard to say um, the orientation of the strike. However, I would think that, you know, it's in, in my view that it's associated with this quartz vein um, just simply because this, the creek isn't a, you know, geological feature, it's a geogra geographical feature more so. So I think that this quartz vein could be uh, very fertile, full of gold, um, potentially. Now they are drilling it very soon. Uh, I believe the 15th of August, they're gonna get their drill rigs in there. So it could be very soon that we will see some more updates. Um, obviously, once we get a proper drilling rig, um, we can see if this, this extends at depth. They are gonna drill here where they've, um, you know, onto this quartz vein. So that's promising. We will potentially see if this um, gold deposit extends along strike or at depth. And we'll have an idea of whether this is going to be just an isolated discovery. We want to take profits on the assay, um, or if it is going to be a more of a long-term investment with sort of the great opportunity where you've got a large um, deposit that they drill out and establish a mineral resource estimate, in which case the share price should reflect the value of that uh, mineral resource estimate, especially given that it's high grade. So there's certainly not likely to be any uncertainty uh, in the market as to the value, whereas other gold stocks that are low grade um, recently have plunged substantially um, due to fears uh, surrounding the actual gold commodity price, right? Now they do have another prospect, well, they've got a lot of prospects. They also have lithium deposits, iron ore potential. Um, however, I'm just focusing on the gold at the present. Um, they are drilling another prospect called the Bird's Nest Prospect. And as you can see, they've got some, um, you know, grams per tonne soil anomaly. Um, you know, that's good because obviously one gram per tonne can be an open pit mine. 
um, you can see that they've got this soil anomaly. It seems very, um, very well defined um, that there could be a, um, you know, at least one to one plus gram per ton um, ore body here, uh, open pit mine. Um, obviously the, the high grade soil anomalies could very well uh, correlate with underlying um, mineralogy, mineralog mineralogy, and there could be a ore body here um, of economic potential. Um, so I certainly uh, do like Peregrine's Peregrine at the moment. Now, um, I personally haven't invested very much into the company at the moment. I do have a position, however, it is quite small um, because I didn't have much time to, you know, um, do my sort of due diligence checks. I just looked at this gold, chucked in some um, money. Um, obviously, I actually had this stock in the past. I recommended it in the past for their lithium um, sort of rally. Um, and, uh, you know, Creasy jumped in on it, um, which is pretty significant as well. Creasy obviously backed, you know, um, a lot of discoveries in Australia. Um, you know, he was involved with the Nova discovery, I think, um, you know, IGO, um, uh, Azure Minerals at Andover, you know, he's, he's um, very good prospector, um, well renowned. And so the share price uh, jumped up when Creasy invested, but obviously since it came back down um, and now has jumped up again. Um, so it's a very interesting stock uh, in terms of its volatility profile. Um, and there's potentially something else I was going to say about it. Um, obviously, if they don't find any minerals um, of economic portions, um, eventually the share price can decline long term. Um, so there is a chance to lose your money here. Um, however, I certainly do think the risk to reward profile is phenomenally good. Um, certainly given that we can see perhaps the best visible gold intercept I've ever seen on an ASX announcement. Um, <laughs> usually you're looking at little specs. This is 15 centimetres like drill for a gold nugget, you know. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, very incredible. You can see in the surrounding rocks, there's gold. Um, you know, let's hope this runs along the entire vein. Um, certainly, if the they do start to drill this out with proper drill rigs, and I see some uh, mineralization in those cores, um, you know, I'm probably going to put in a lot more money. Um, you know, that would be something to get excited about if the share price hasn't gone through the roof by then. Um, so if we do see something in the in the actual cause, that would be very exciting, uh, you know. So subscribe to my channel um, to keep updated on this. Subscribe to their, uh, you know, their news feed so you get, um, you know, announcements to your phone, um, your email account, that sort of thing, um, so that you're not going to miss a miss an announcement of high grade assays or something like that. Um, you know, check the, have a read through of the description I pasted below. You know, you've got links to online brokerages like Selfwell, Superhero, where you can trade Australian shop, uh, stocks safely. Um, you know, I've got referral links there. So that benefits uh, yourself and me, um, potentially if you use the referral links that I've pasted. Um, so certainly check it out. Uh, and thanks for watching guys. Let's hope that Peregrine is the next degree and that we all get bloody rich. <laughs> Thanks, guys.